Hey everybody, Marion here. And as I mentioned in the intro, this week we are on habit four of the seven habits of highly effective people. And this week we're talking about win-win. Now this is when we're talking in negotiations, whether it be critical negotiations at a job, whether it be working on your online business and working with a new team member, whether it be working with a family member over who's going to do what chores. Win-win is an easy concept to understand. What sometimes gets misunderstood is the underlying motivations. In theory, you've got several ways you can look at any type of negotiation. Lose-lose is where everybody comes out feeling like they've been cheated. You know, the decision that was made doesn't make anybody happy. Win-lose is where I come out with everything I wanted and you didn't get anything. Lose-win, you'll hear a lot when somebody starts getting sarcastic. Go ahead. You take it. I don't need it. If you hear this type of language, you're probably in for trouble. And if you're the one that's doing the lose-win, you're not doing anyone a favor by doing that. Which brings us to the concept of win-win. This is where you think it through and you come up with a plan that will work for both sides. Sounds simple, right? One of the hallmark examples that has been used for why this doesn't work when it should are underlying situations, factors like contests that can change the idea of cooperation and win-win into a, it's not a situation of abundance. Only one person's going to come out the winner. So if somebody's got a win, you want it to be you. Example, there's a sales contest. Now, as a team, you want to work together, but only one person can win that. When that happens, even though you're trying to encourage the team to work together, you've got each person who is pulling for themselves. It is much better if you're trying to create a team to create a contest where everybody wins at the end. It may not be one person taking a trip to Bermuda. Maybe it's a big picnic that everybody gets to go to. So think about the underlying situation as you're thinking about what type of strategy you're using when you're negotiating and planning and trying for cooperation. And always think win-win.